Conspiracy to kill a 20-year-old Californian who went to Pakistan to pursue Islamic studies and then went to war against the United States. After he was captured in Afghanistan in November 2001, John Walker Lind became known as the American Taliban. A teenage fascination with Islam led him to Afghanistan in 2001, where he joined the Taliban and reportedly met Osama bin Laden. His capture makes news all over the world. Hey, where are you from? America. America? America? Um, the temperature in the country at the time after 9-11, um, I could understand it. People were, were, were angry, they were confused. It was like a nightmare it, it for us as a, a family, because we know John, we know he's not anti-American, we know he doesn't have any sympathy for terrorism. And yet here he stood accused of these things in the public eye. This is the first and only time he has spoken on camera. Was your goal to be Shaheed or a martyr? It is the goal of every Muslim. Was it your goal though? Huh? Was it your goal at that time? I'll tell you, to be honest, every single one of us, without any exaggeration, every single one of us was 100% sure that we would all be shot at any shape. Mm -hmm. God, us. In the summer of 2001, prosecutors say Walker trained at this Al-Qaeda terrorist camp in Afghanistan and even joined in a small group that met and talked briefly with bin Laden himself, to thank them for taking part in a jihad. The FBI says Walker heard from one of his camp instructors that bin Laden had sent people to the U.S. to carry out suicide attacks. He joined Taliban fighters on the front lines, prosecutors say, battling the Northern Alliance, retreating under fire from U.S. airstrikes, eventually surrendering with other Taliban members. Through it all, he maintains he never fired a single shot. Videotape showed Lind being questioned at an Afghan prison camp by CIA agent Mike Spann. Soon after, Spann was killed in a battle with prisoners. There was the American hero and the American traitor. That was the story. That's how the New York Times portrayed it. And then the media picked it up from there, the good American and the bad American. It was completely unfair. John was, was wounded and nearly killed in the same uprising where Mike Spann was killed. They were both victims of the same circumstances. John was not on the wrong side. Uh, he was just trying to survive and escape. Was this what you thought it would be? Was, was this the right cause or the, the right it's place? exactly what I thought it would be. You're an American citizen, right? Yeah. Well, right now you're a prisoner. All right. Okay. Do you understand why? A full prisoner of the American government. John Walker Lind grew up in Washington, D.C. and California. At 16, he converted to Islam. Well, I think that was the crime, was that somehow it was perceived that yeah, how did this middle-class boy from California, Marin County, um, convert to such a religion as Islam? But at the time, I don't think most people understood Islam. Walker is charged with consorting with the enemy and handling explosives. He is sentenced to 20 years at a federal prison in Victorville, California. His family continue to protest about the severity of his sentence. 